Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you how to model crosswalks, a zebra crossing. This is an unsignalized pedestrian crossing. First, I would like to just discuss different ways to model pedestrians. When we say pedestrians in Vizim, we basically mean this walk pedestrians, this walk inputs. Those are these yellow elements. So those pedestrians are loaded using pedestrian inputs. There is another way, which is uh, just a normal vehicle input. And we just change the vehicle 3D model to a pedestrian. But they just uh, go very strangely without any thinking. So that's only something to use if you don't have the VisWalk module in your Visim license included. If you don't have that module, you can only model up to 30 pedestrians um, simultaneously. So in this case, I show you the proper way to do it. Um, if you have, assuming you have the license. Okay, so first what you do is you just place a link. <laughs> Notice that this is only just a single link, only one way. If you want to model another link, you would need to place like that, but that is just not real. Uh, not realistic. So let's cancel that. What you need to do is you go to pedestrian area in the link um, options, this tab, pedestrian area tab, and you select is pedestrian area. You hit OK. Now, if I hit the tabulator, you can see it is now two way. What I can do, I just go here and increase the number of lanes to two. To make it wider and also to provide like two um, areas for uh, the two directions, but it's uh, it is um, not mandatory, so you can make just wider if you want and single lane. Um, so what you can't do, you can't just add pedestrian inputs onto a link which is converted into pedestrian area. So what you need to do is you need to create two areas where you basically load your pedestrian demand into the model. Just hit OK. The shape, the size doesn't really matter here. Pedestrian input selected here on the left with the this walk and just hold control right click up here, hold control, right click. I have the volume here brought up automatically, or you can just show list. You can right click show list. It's automatically set to pedestrians. Of course, you can uh, modify the comp uh, composition if you want, but um, I think the default is just fine for such purposes. So I just add. 50 pedestrians per hour. Then pedestrian routes. So I need to add the route from this area to that. So the way you do it, let me delete. The way you do it is hold on control, right click, and then just left click here on the other side where you want them to go. This is an intermediate point. In this case, it is not applicable. And now you also want pedestrians to move from this area to that. So I place it as well, and the destination is there. One thing to note is that you can't add intermediate points onto links which have been converted, which has been converted to pedestrian areas. <laughs> when you convert a link to pedestrian area, you are able to add conflicts. You need to make sure that the green, so you hold on control, you select one, you hold on control, and with the right button, you change the settings. It goes in circles. Who gives way to the other? Red, red means everyone gives way to each other. This means it is uh, not set up, so everyone just goes. So this is the way I want it. So the pedestrian go and cars 
vehicles will give way. Okay, I have already set up some vehicle inputs, so there are some vehicles coming from both sides. One thing to consider as well, so when we double click on this, you probably want to select this, consider vehicles in dynamic potential. What this basically means, it is it is important for the pedestrian modeling algorithm. They, when you select this option, they tend to avoid opposing pedestrians. They treat them as optic obstacles, so they don't they don't behave like in a big crowd when everyone goes everywhere they try to form like lanes when they go basically that that's what it does so if you select this they will form lanes easily um, and they will give way to vehicles otherwise they will consider vehicles as obstacles or uh, or regardless so they will they will not behave the way they should be here in most of the cases so it is advisable that you select it. So you go to link pedestrian area and select consider vehicles and dynamic potential. You can change this value if you still have issues, but the default should be fine. So basically now if we run it, we don't have a lot of pedestrians going. So the good thing about pedestrians is that you can increase their number during the model run. So as you see, they give way. You can make this to look better so let me just hide conflict areas by left clicking that icon you can go to pavement markings and you can just put uh, with control and right click pavement marking and you select zebra crossing you hit okay so you can basically just um, set the length the way you want it and since it is two lane, what you can do is you can just duplicate it and just put another one. And basically that's it. So that's the way you build a pedestrian crossing. There is one, a few things to consider. <laughs> when Visim calculates giveaway rules and the conflict areas, according to their manual, there is a three meter upstream area where they place automatically detectors. Of course, you can't see it. So they consider pedestrians in this area arriving. So that's when they are included in the calculation. So make sure that whenever you load uh, pedestrians in, you provide enough length for at least that three meters. So you are not doing something like this. So make sure that you leave a bit more gap there. Um, also, for vehicles, you need to make sure that there is enough length upstream so you don't put like like this so the vehicle can also um, be considered in the conflict area. It's not just this loaded and it's basically that. So you need to make sure that there is sufficient space. So yeah. I hope you uh, learned something today. If you have any questions or any recommendations, please let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to support the channel, I would appreciate if you like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you the next time.